two most common questions that I've been asked all the time. Number one, when is the best time for me to go out there and fish for striped bass? I like going during incoming tide, uh, two hours before the peak high tide. So from two hours to the peak high tide and one, af one hour after peak. So have three hours of uh, time to fish. That's, that's my ideal time to go out and fish. Number two, where is the place? <laughs> Where, where should I go? I would suggest just go Google it. Google map, hit satellite, and you will find a long stretch of beach here in San Francisco. And just find a parking spot that you have an easy access to the beach. I can't tell you where to fish because of course I'm, I'm gonna get a lot of comments for sure down there if I do that <laughs> so yeah just google it and find a spot where you can fish now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna look for holes I'll try my best to show you guys and to explain to you how to locate a hole or a fishing spot okay this is a good example right here guys I don't know if you can see it I hope I got um air shots for you guys but this spot right here I'm gonna show you guys what this one looks like is this a good spot for striped bass fishing yes i'm gonna show you guys why you see you see that breaks right there the first breaks all the way back there that means that breaks that means there's a there's a sandbar there there's a sandbar like a hump like that and then it suddenly flattens right after that flat surface there's another break comes in that means there's another sandbar or oh, that's the trough like the sudden drop i'm gonna show you look i'm gonna draw it here hope you guys can see it so this is let's say this is the first break and then it becomes flat and then there's another break waves all right and then this is where you're fishing yeah so that's the surf so it, the sandbar is right here this is the bottom and then there's a sandbar right here that what that's why it created a breaks right there because of this sandbar and now it becomes deep that's the hole and it becomes flat this is what this is the the type of wave or a hole that i like and there's where <laughs> and the the fish and the fish hangs out here. The striped bass, they hang out there or they pass by there, that's where they go. So what would I do if I cast? I would cast it right here. That's where I'm gonna cast it. The striped bass, most of the time, they don't hit it. Right when you drop there and then they hit it right away, no. That's where your lure will do its work. The action of the lure. So you work your lure there and the striped bass sees it they will chase it and the striking point is either here or right here they will strike here that's why you will see some on one of my videos you, you will see a fish strike it right there right next to my feet <laughs> i hope you guys understand that <laughs> you like it? so that's where we at right now this is the type of uh, holes or a fishing spot that we're gonna fish right now and hopefully we can catch one right all right let's go let's go so right here see this one is shallow it's flat but not until you go there it drops that's where the the trough is so that's where we're gonna cast our lure and hopefully there's a slide vest hanging out there it's our first cast guys i really like this spot so I'm gonna cast it after that break. See that breaks right there? There. I'm gonna cast it as far as I can so that I have I can cover more more water. Okay. Oh, that's a good cast. Alright, that's far. Now I'm just gonna work my lure, get that action going, and hopefully stripe bass will notice it and strike it. Oh right there. Oh what the heck? Oh no no! Oh, I thought I hooked up. 
That's a seaweed. <laughs> I want I want my lure to imitate an injured fish or an injured bait. So it goes bam 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 pause bam 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 pause bam 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 bam. So that's what I want my lure to do in the water. Dude, I had a feeling I'm gonna catch a big one here. This this spot right here is really the ideal spot that I wanted to go. Like I can stay here forever. Oh, fish on, fish on, fish on. Yeah. Ha. Woo, let's go. Yeah, baby. Ha ha. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about, guys. Woo. Let's go. Ha ha. Nice. Here, here. Oh, this, this is good. Oh, this is a good one. Let's go. Let's go. Ha ha! Woo! Oh, this is a good one, guys. It's a good one. Yeah. Good stripe bass right there. Ooh, nice hook set. Wait a minute. Okay, okay, chill. That's what I'm talking about, guys. Ooh, look at that hook set. Right in that lip. All right, guys. Nice fish. Yeah. This is a good 22 inches right here. Nice. <laughs> Woo. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Let me release this guy. Let's go. I'm gonna catch you again when you grow. Bye bye. Yeah. See, I, I want to I want to stay here and fish more because I know there's there's striped bass there hanging around. And but we're gonna go and try to find another fishable spot for striped bass. Okay. So hopefully we can find one and I can show it to you how the structure works. Okay. Let's go and find them. Okay guys, here's another spot right here. This is a good example right here. Okay, let me describe this to you. I hope you can see it. All right, there's a, there's a arch pattern. If you notice, the waves, when it stops, there's an, there's an arch pattern. It's not a straight where it's all even waves that breaks. So that means when you're looking on when you're looking on top view, the hole is like this. For example, I'm right here, I'm fishing top view, that's my head. <laughs> so the hole is like this. That's the wave, that's where the, the wave stops. And, uh, and then there's right there. <laughs> okay, so that's the fishing hole right here. So this one is deep, that one is deep. Okay, so the best descriptions that I can do here is like this. Look, it goes like this. And it drops, sudden drop. That's the hole. And a sandbar. And that's where the wave, this is the waves coming in. Waves, it breaks here. Breaks. And then it flattens. And then another waves break. And that's it. And the fish hang out here. But this is not my, uh, this is not the ideal hole that I wanted. The first one was the one that I like. Because that one that has a, that has a shallow area where the fish can chase the lure. So this one, when you cast your lure, you cast it as far as you can. And then again, work your lure over here. And hopefully this fish right here will strike it right away. Okay? Yes. So we're going to give ourselves like about 10 minutes here to fish and after that we're gonna move to another spot for some people they like this because it's deep but for me this is not my ideal ideal surf I'll show you the other one the second favorite spot or holes okay, that's the last cast and then we'll move out to the other one let's go to the next one my second favorite fishing spot let's go we are at on our third 
fishing spot. The first one was the one which is my favorite fishing spot, and then the second one was like kind of like, eh, I don't like it. It's good, but I don't, I don't have much success in it. But this one is my second favorite fishing spot. So now I'm gonna tell you guys how the structure works. See, look at the far end. You see that breaks? Bang! Right there. That means there's there's a sandbar there, and it gets flat. And then all the way up here, and there's another break. That means it goes up and it stops. The top view for this one is like this. So I'm right here casting. That's my head. And there's a there's a slope here, right? Like kind of like a sandbar. And then there's a sandbar right here where the waves breaks. And then ooh, okay, let's do that again. Sandbar right there, the waves breaks. The first one was a circle hole, but this one is a stretch. It's a long stretch. It's a parallel like that. And there's a deep, the deep hole is a, it's a long stretch deep hole. You get it? So this is the structure that we are going to fish for. I hope you guys understand that. And I hope you can picture what I'm trying to show you guys. And hopefully we can catch one. Let's go. See, look, I'm just standing right here and the wave just stops here. And the hole is right there. And it's a long stretch of hole. Long stretch. Not like the other one. It's like a round or dome stretch. Or dome spot. Hole. Alrighty guys, that is it for today and I hope you like this video. If you like this video, hit that like button. And if you don't like this video, that is what the thumbs down for. Go ahead and hit that. And or if you have any suggestion or if you know something that you think you can share and everybody can learn from it, please leave that comment on the comment section below. Today we talked about when to fish and where to fish on the next episode guys we're gonna talk about on how to fish for striped bass and what are the gears to use for fishing striped bass all right so stick around hope to see you guys in the next episode thanks for watching be safe out there be kind to one another it's not just fishing it's more than fishing <laughs>